Hello everybody and thanks for joining us for another Walla Wallet walkthrough. Today we're going to be showing off the great new staking interface that was just released for Walla Wallet. Hedera is a proof of stake network and as the original mobile wallet of the HBAR community we are very pleased to offer our users a native staking experience that is very profitable and is the safest, the most transparent, and the easiest staking solution that we have ever seen. We're going to start out by looking at an existing wallet. Here on our main wallet portfolio page, you can see a button that says staking, and let's go ahead and tap that. You can see here that staking has not yet been configured for this account, but before we do that, Let's take a quick look at one of our great staking features. If I tap the drop down next to our account ID, you can see our existing account listed here. But if we want to look at the staking configuration for another Hedera account, such as one that we have on a Ledger Nano hardware device, we can easily do that here by simply adding that account ID to our list. Now that the other account has been added to our staking list, we can quickly and easily check on the pending rewards of that account and collect them right here. For now, let's continue on with our account that has not been set up for staking yet. At the bottom of the screen, you can see a button that says Configure. Let's go ahead and tap that. Now you can see a field that says Hedera Node ID or Account ID. The Account ID would be primarily for indirect staking but indirect staking is an advanced feature that we will cover in another video. For now, let's click on the drop-down and select the Hedera node that we want to stake to. Here we can see lots of information about the Hedera nodes. I currently have advanced features enabled, so you may see slightly less information in your app if you don't have advanced settings enabled, but the process is the same. You can browse the list of nodes and select the node that you want to stake to. For now, it doesn't really matter which node you select because all of the governing council nodes have sufficient HBAR for staking, but in the future you will want to make sure that your node has enough HBAR and that it is not already full. I'm going to select the IBM node. Below the node ID here, you can see the Earn Staking Rewards button is checked by default. You can decline rewards, but we figure most people will want to earn them. Let's go ahead and tap Update, and you can see the fee summary here. Walla Wallet does charge a small fee for setting up staking, but it's a small price to pay for a highly secure staking experience, and you should only have to do it once, at least for the foreseeable future. Let's go ahead and slide to pay. It takes a couple of seconds, and like magic, voila, your Hedera staking is now configured, and you can see that the countdown timer next to your rewards has begun. Sometimes the data being pulled from mirror nodes isn't the most accurate, so if you see data here that you think should be different, you can always query the Hedera mainnet nodes directly by tapping Current Info. There is a micro fee for viewing the nodes directly, so for now, I'll just cancel. Now let's go back to our account that has staking rewards that are ready to be collected. Tap the staking button, and here you can see that there are pending rewards that are ready to be deposited into our account. Let's tap Collect Rewards. Walla Wallet does charge a tenth of a penny as a convenience fee. Let's go ahead and slide to pay. And once again, like magic, voila! Your rewards have been collected and deposited into your account. Again, you can see the new countdown timer has begun and your next rewards are right around the corner. If you want to check your rewards, let's go back to our main wallet page. Then we'll select HBAR. I'll tap the refresh icon here at the top to make sure that my new balance is reflected. And now I'll tap transactions to get more details. I'll pull down to refresh the list and then I can tap on the latest transaction to see it in more detail. I can see the node and service micro fees that were paid. I can see the HBAR that came out of the rewards account of 0.0.800. And I can see that same amount has been deposited into my account. And you can see the Walla Wallet convenience micro fee at the bottom. And that's it for today. Native Hedera staking made super simple, super secure, and super convenient. 
We hope you enjoy this latest improvement to Walla Wallet. And if you do like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the improvements coming to Walla Wallet. You can jump to our videos list anytime by simply tapping the video icon at the bottom of your Walla Wallet. Come and hang out with us for our weekly live streaming Alternative Money Monday, and we'll see you there.